I am back with another video. If you are new, make sure that you click the subscribe button. And for all of my old heads, of course, welcome back to my channel. So today we're going to do something a little different. We're going to do a like girl talk um, type of video, whatever. And we're going to be doing a hygiene routine video. Um, this is what I use. This is how I do everything. Um, I don't know how y'all do what y'all do. Um, this is what works for me. And yeah, so without further ado, let's get right into this freaking video. All right, y'all. So I have everything that I use. I don't use all this at once, um, but I am going to recommend some good scents for you to try um, and stuff like that. So, first of all, when I get in the shower, um, of course, I got to have hot water. For some reason, at Southern, baby, they water does not work good. Um, so you got to catch hot water when you can. But for the most part, it is... Um, between warm and hot, it's never to where it's like cold and it's like, ugh, I don't feel clean. Um, so yeah, but I really like hot, hot showers. Um, that's why I love going back home because, whew, um, shower back at home ain't nothing compared to Southern, but you know, at least Southern water's a little warm. That's neither here nor there though. Um, so yeah, when I first get in the shower, I you'd like to go in and when I like get in I like to rinse of course so I let the water hit my whole body that's just that's just what I like to do maybe I like to let it hit my whole body because like whew, whew. like oh y'all I got to let that water hit especially when it's fresh in the morning you be cold you know it's getting cold outside so I be liking for that warm hot water to hit me and I'm just like so yeah, you let the warm water hit you. Um, and I always go in with I wash like three, I think like three times when I'm in the shower. I wash about three times. Um, so yeah. Um, sometimes I use body wash, but uh normally when I use body wash, I like to use dove. I don't have any on hand. I'll put a picture right here. Um, I do like to use the body wash and I like to use the same body wash as the soap. So let me show y'all the soap I use. So this is the soap that I like to use. It is the gentle exfoliant. Um, I do like to use this because it has the little exfoliant beads and it, it, ugh, it exfoliates your skin while um, you're taking a bath. I did have the body wash to this. So, um, if I have the body wash, a lot of the times I'll go in with my soap first and I'll wash maybe like once or twice with the soap. Then I'll wash about once or twice with the actual body wash. Um, and the body wash does have the little beads in it. That way it can exfoliate your skin as well. Um, it works very well. I really like this. Um, I also use this for shaving purposes, but we will get into that a little later in the video. Um, but yeah. This is one of the best brands of soap. Let me just let y'all see. Okay. The Gentle Exfoliant, or I like to use the, um, what is it? The, uh, dang. I can't think of it. The Sensitive Skin. I like to use the Sensitive Skin Dove Bar Soap, too, because, um, you know, a lot of scents just don't work with everybody's body. Let's be honest. A lot of scents don't work with everybody's body, so I just play it safe. And go with the sensitive skin because you do not want to walk around here looking stank. I mean, smelling stank. What? Um. So, yeah. Gentle exfoliant or sensitive skin is always the way to go. And if you have the body wash, I suggest the body wash. I suggest that you wash twice with the bar soap. And then wash twice with the body wash. Um, Because, honestly, body wash really is just not going to get it on its own. You need to use the soap first. Then go in with the body wash. So... Um, yeah. So, after I do that, um, yeah, after I just wash real good everywhere with that, um, yeah, normally when it's time to get down there to the bottom half, um, I use hot water, um, because you don't want to put any soap or um body wash or anything inside um i do wash the outside with soap 
or I'll wash the outside with um, body wash. But the inside, I make sure that I run my towel until it's no soap. Um, I run it until it's clear water. And then that's when you go in and you wash the inside because if you wash the inside with soap or you wash it with, um, what is it, body wash or anything like that, you can cause, um, uh, oh, y'all. <laughs> you can get um you can mess up your ph balance for one um so yeah i don't really know what else i know you can mess up your ph balance if y'all know please drop down in the comments down below but yeah it's just overall it's bad to put soap in the inside you could possibly cause infections and all types of stuff so yeah don't do that um we want you smelling good all throughout the day so yeah but i do use soap on the outside because when you have to wash your inner thighs you know especially when you are bigger and baby your thighs are a little thicker and a little juicier like mine baby you got to wash all your thighs so you have to get in the creases so of course you're going to be washing the outside which that is perfectly fine um but run your towel off with hot water okay and um get in there real good just get in there real good make sure it's clean everything like that and i do the same thing um yeah i do the same thing like all down there i just hot water um as far as the insides but um yeah so honestly that's really it as far as that um when i get out the shower and i come and i dry off i do like to use degree for my deodorant so this is the degree that I use. It is the Ultra Clear, Pure Clear, Invisa Solid. I don't know, I like degree period um, because it's one that I used that was like terrible, like it was awful. I don't know if it was Dove or what it was, but it was awful and it stank, it was, it was terrible y'all. But I do like to use the degree degree works really well for me um and it does keep you know you smelling real good under there whether you sweat or anything honestly this works really good for me also another thing that works really good for me is um men men um i used to use the dry spray men uh degree and it works so good you walk around you smell like a man you know, and it does smell good because, like, dang, like, like if you were to have, like, a boyfriend or something, like, you smell like him, it's like, mm, I smell like my man. But, um, <clears throat> yeah, like, it's nothing wrong with using men deodorant, but I have used it before when I ran out of my women deodorant, and that's all I had in my house at the time. So, <laughs> yeah, I do use that. Um, I've used the dry spray. I've never used the actual stick, but it does work really well, and it smells so good. Like, y'all, it smells so freaking good i just oh, i love it um so yeah i either use my regular degree or if i don't have that then i use um the men if it's there yeah so that's that next i use um <clears throat> i use this kind of lotion and this lotion is um the vaseline brand the cocoa radiant with pure cocoa butter um this honestly depends. Um, if I am using um, my Dove soap and my Dove body wash, sensitive skin or gentle exfoliant, um, I use this kind of lotion, okay? Because I don't wanna mix too many scents. So I go on with my cocoa butter lotion because it's just a regular lotion. And then I go on with whatever body spray that I want to use. Um, so this is just one of those lotions where I don't have a matching set from like Victoria's Secret or, um, what is it? Bath and Body Works. I go in with Vaseline cause it works pretty doggone well. So yeah. Now I'm going to give you guys like some of my favorite scents that I use. Um, so yeah. So the first one is from Bath and Body Works. It is the Moonlit Path. This one smells so good. Like, you smell like a grown woman. That's really what I like about it. Um, I do have the body wash and I have 
the body spray so as far as this the way that i would um use this is i would go in with my sensitive skin or gentle exfoliant soap because it, gentle exfoliant soap honestly doesn't have a smell either um it's kind of just like the sensitive skin it doesn't have a smell um so i go in with that first then i would go in with my body wash okay so instead of using my dove gentle skin body wash i would go in with this body wash okay this is the body wash i would use then i would go in with my cocoa butter lotion because it doesn't really have a scent either okay then i go in with the moonlit path on top okay um what i like to do is as soon as i get out the shower i like to go ahead and spray my body once with my body sprays and then go in with my lotion that's just me i don't know about y'all but yeah so that's like the order i put it i do let me see let's see if we can oh this is just so much okay so that's just the order that I go in. I would use my bar soap, which is always gentle, exfoliant, or sensitive skin. Then I go in with my body wash because you want to smell good. And then once I get out, I go in with the Vaseline um, lotion. And then I go in with the matching body spray. Um, that's just how I do it. That's just my preference of how I work with the... Um, with the the body wash and the um, body spray, I don't like, I honestly, I don't like doing it like that because, um, well, I don't like it like that, honestly, because I like to have all matching sets. So I like to have the body wash with the lotion, with the spray, but sometimes they can overpower. Um, so yeah, doing it that way honestly works for me, um, even though I don't really like it because I'd rather have my Moonlit Path Lotion. Um, that just works for me. So it just kind of keeps everything balanced because you have those two neutral tone, um, lotion, the lotion and the soap, and then the body spray and the um, body wash really kind of take over with the smell. That way you smell really good, okay? Yeah. All right, so another scent. Um, this, this y'all, if you got me, if you got me, he gonna bite you, like literally, because this is strawberry pound cake. Um, at the beginning, yes, at the beginning of the semester, I had the strawberry pound cake body wash. I had the strawberry pound cake um, lotion and I had the body spray. And when I tell y'all I smell good all day, I smell good all day. I literally went home. I went, um, I went to stay with my auntie and I had took a shower and I was walking around. She was like, you got a perfume? And I was like, yeah. She was like, is that strawberry pound cake? I said, yeah. She was like, oh, I got the candle. She was like, but I could smell you from over here. Like, I'm the type of person... I like smell good all day. I don't like, cause and for me it's because I sweat bad. Um, but I sweat bad like in my face. So like when it's super duper hot outside, when it's summertime, um, when we come back in the fall for school and I'm walking to class, um, I know at some point I'm going to sweat. Like you're going to genuinely like, blah, blah, blah. you're going to generally sweat anyway. So um, I always make sure that. I pack, um, I pack this kind of stuff when I go out because when I get to class, you know, you sit down, you be a little tired, but you like to go ahead and just kind of, and then throw it back in your backpack. That way people be like, ooh, it smells good in here. Who's that? And he's like, yeah, that's me. You know, and they make it seem like you walked into class smelling good. You know, even though you might walk into class smelling good because, you know, us as people, um, when you get to sweat and you be like, oh, I don't know if the scent's still here. Do I smell like sweat? You know, like it's a lot of things running through your mind. So for me, I really love to keep um, my body spray in my backpack or purse or whatever I'm carrying at the time. But yes, baby, this will have you smell like an actual pound cake. Um, people going to want to bite you like it's just that good. It's just that freaking good. Okay. So 
yeah that's a good one um another one that i have is goldstruck from victoria's secret this is actually my first time i haven't tried this yet um this is this will be my first time it is a citrus gem with passion fruit and a guilty rush so it's supposed to it, ooh, it's supposed to smell like you know citrus fruits and i don't know i did it citrus fruit, fruits and stuff like that um and i did like the way that it smelled and i put it against my skin and it smelled really 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 freaking good okay so these two right here um these are really good right here they smell really good um it's called gold struck once again by victoria's secret and i have the lotion and i have the um body spray okay so like i said the way i do this in the shower is i use my gentle exfoliant use my uh use the gentle exfoliant soap gentle exfoliant body wash then when i get out go in with these two and yeah you good to go honestly um the next thing that i have and i actually have the whole full set so let's get into it this is um one of the pink brand type of thingies all right let's get it together sweetie okay so yes this is the honey um i have the honey wash honey lotion and the honey scrub oh gosh okay so this would be an example of a perfect set so if i were to um be freshly shaved then or if i was like shaving that day um the way i do it is i go in you know rinse with hot water or warm water or whatever southern water to feel like it want to be today um then i will take my gentle exfoliant soap bar because you want to wash with soap first before you go on with body wash um and i'd wash with that then i wash with the body wash okay um and the body wash is pretty thick um it smells like honey it smells really really freaking good like ugh. i don't think y'all understand then once i'm done with all that i will go in with the honey scrub hope y'all can see that i will go in with my honey scrub and scrub my whole body and i like to really scrub like baby because i got a lot of meat on my bones i like to i like to really scrub all right and then when i get out of course i go in with my honey lotion now with this I would not wear any type of body spray um it does not come with a body spray but because i use the wash and the scrub and the lotion i'm not gonna put on body spray and i don't use scrub every time i only use that really when i shave honestly <laughs> so yeah now let me put y'all on my favorite y'all i don't think i understand like this is really my favorite freaking scent and i i found it on accident honestly okay it is white jasmine can y'all see can y'all see white jasmine from bath and body works oh my gosh smell like a grown woman can you say a grown woman like smell like a grown woman i be using this honestly for everything i be spraying my sheets with this i be spraying my room with this like this is my favorite freaking scent okay at one point i had the um body wash i had the exfoliant wash and i had the lotion and the body spray that's just how much i like it um honestly you're not supposed to use all that at the same time but like i said i love to smell good i love to like when i pass you you should be like dang like dang she smell good like yeah like period i'm gonna smell good that's just me <laughs> um but yeah, those are all my favorite scents. That's how I use everything. Um, so yeah, that's just that on there. Now, let's get into shaving. Okay. For me, um, because I don't get waxed. I'm scared. I don't uh, I just I can't get with the program of getting the wax yet. I can't. Okay. Um, so I still I use razors. 
Um, and I like to use the Min razors. I actually don't have one like on hand. I have like the little itty bitty women razors, but I don't really like those. I really like men razors because they have the, um, they have more blades on them than women razors. And you're supposed to use men razors to shave anyway. Okay. So when I know that I'm going to shave that day, um, what I like to do is I like to actually use coconut oil. Um, but if I don't have any coconut oil at the time, guess what? My friend. Um, shaving cream, honestly, no. I can't I can't get jiggy with using shaving cream anymore. Um, I'm either gonna use my exfoliant bar soap or I'm gonna use coconut oil. Coconut oil literally takes the hair off of you, like literally. I used it one time um when I was shaving down there. And I just, because I was trying to, I think I heard it from somebody else. And I was like, let me try this. And this was like, I was like a senior in high school, I think. Um, and I just, I just, I don't know where I just decided to try it. When I tell you, baby, all that hair came off like at one time. I was like, dang. Like, I really like these. So, um, whenever I have coconut oil, I love to use coconut oil. You can use any type of coconut oil. Don't use the cooking coconut oil now. Um... I like to use the coconut oil that you use like on your hair. Like I like to use that type of coconut oil. The one that's um if you leave it in a certain temperature, it'll firm up. That kind of coconut oil. Don't get that kind of cooking coconut oil, baby. Don't get that. Um but yeah, I like to use um coconut oil or I use myself if I just don't have coconut oil. Um and I actually watched this lady on TikTok and I tried it myself. Um it worked pretty well. Um, what she did, what she said to do how to properly shave is you are supposed to get um, you're supposed to wash first and then um, dang, what did she say? I think I'm just gonna insert the TikTok right here that way you guys can see what she said. So there's no hair in the vagina, but I can teach you how to take care of your mons. Now, there's no real medical reason to shave your mons, but of course, culturally, a lot of women do it. So I'll show you how to do this. Follow along with me. So here we go. Masks are on or we are headed into Target. So you're going to take a warm shower and you're going to use a soap that is for sensitive skin without perfumes or dyes. After you've washed the area, you use a body scrub and exfoliate the entire area that you plan to shave. Use shave gel and a men's razor and shave in the direction of the hair growth. After you're out of the shower, you douse the area with a little witch hazel, let that dry, then apply some hydrocortisone cream. Um, but anyway, so yeah, I did try that one time and it worked pretty well. Um, I didn't use like no moisturizer or nothing after that, but yeah, but that's neither here nor there. So for me, like I said, use coconut oil, I use my bar. Um, and I like to use a man razor because it has more blades and it, uh, gets a very, it gets a closer cut, um, than a women razor, than women razors. Um, after I am done shaving, I like to exfoliate. Now, a lot of people like to use um, that exfoliate this, okay? I don't use that, all right? I make my own exfoliant. Um, I have, like, these jars, um, and I make my own exfoliant, and it's safe for skin. Um, it's worked really well for me. Um, so yeah, I just make my own exfoliant that way. I don't have to take anything else because I don't know what's in anything else I know exactly what I put in my own exfoliant and I know this very organic. Okay, so I make my own exfoliant and once I'm done shaving um, I like to go ahead and wash Okay, I like to go ahead and wash my body off and then I go in with my exfoliant Okay, so when I use my exfoliant, I use it all over my body anyway because I want everything to be smooth, okay? So, the way I do it is um, I just take it, kind of rub it, and just, I, like, press into my arm. Like, basically massaging into my arm the exfoliant. 
or massaging into my thighs, massaging into my legs, massaging it on my stomach, massaging it on my chest. I massage into my skin. That way that the moisture um, and the oils from my exfoliant get into my skin, um, really just hydrate and wake up my skin. So, yeah, I make my own exfoliant. I exfoliate down there, but I only exfoliate on, like, the top, and I exfoliate on the side. You never, <gasps> never, ever, ever, ever in your life exfoliate the inside. You <laughs> want to take a trip to the ER if you do that. <laughs> okay you're gonna cause all types of infections bacteria growth like everything you're gonna cause everything do not do that okay only exfoliate on the outsides and that is just to prevent ingrown hairs and things like that um so yeah i like to use my own exfoliant because i know what i put in it um now if we're talking this kind of scrub, this kind of scrub you just use on your body, okay? Don't put it down there because I don't, you don't know what's in here, okay? That's why when people use that, um, whatever that doggone scrub is that was going viral, I would never put that down there because I don't know what's in that, okay? I don't know what's in that, baby. Like, ugh. you might die. You just never know. Your coochie might fall off. You just, you don't know. Like, you don't know. So, don't do that. <laughs> don't do that. All right. Um, But, yeah. That's really it for my, like, shaving type. Like, my shaving day type of stuff. Um, As far as razors, I use my razors. Um, If I use them for under my arms and on my legs. Because sometimes I only shave under my arms and on my legs. I don't shave down there like all the time um, because I don't want to keep, y'all know, y'all know, you don't want to keep um, shaving over the same area and uh, just all types of stuff. So for razor use, I use my razor under my arms and on my legs maybe about two to three times before I throw my razor away. Um, and then normally, normally I use it about two to three times. That fourth time is normally when I go to shave down there. Because I like for my hair to go ahead and grow. That way when I go to shave, it'll kind of pick up as much as it can. Um, and once I shave down there, baby, I throw the razor in the trash. Because at that point, the razor is no good. Okay? Because um, you don't want to shave down there, keep the razor, and then shave under your arms, and then shave your legs. Like, you just spread bacteria at that point. And that's nasty, okay? Um, so, yeah, once I shave down there, I go ahead and throw that razor out. Give me a new one and start that whole process over. Um, yeah, I always make sure that I clean all of the hair out of my razor. Um, make sure that I get a paper towel. A lot of times when I know I'm shaving, I bring an extra towel in the bathroom with me. Um, that way, every time I shave and I rinse it off, I swipe all that hair on all the excess hair on the towel because hair can get stuck in between the blades. So yeah. You know. Um so yeah, that's really all I do for my shaving routine. That's all I use. Um <coughs> excuse me. I have tried to use Nair before. Um I've never tried it down there because I didn't want my coochie to fall off. But I have tried to use it under my arms. I did burn under my arms um, because I don't, I'm not a hairy person. So hair really don't just grow on me like that. <laughs> Honestly, hair really don't just grow on me like that. So I've used it under my arms um, and it burned, it burned my underarms. Like it cut me up. So I don't use it under there. Um, I've used it on my legs, but honestly, my legs don't really grow a lot of hair. So, <clears throat> I have to leave it on for a longer time than what, you know, it says. I think you're supposed to leave it on for like 10 minutes. I have to leave it on for like 15 or 20. Because it's kind of hard for it to get to my hair because there's really no hair there. Um, so, <clears throat> as far as Nair, like, that's that's how that go. I don't use Summer Eve um, because that can mess up your pH balance. Um, yeah, ugh. 
I don't do. I don't even know what that is. I don't do that. <laughs> I don't do that. Uh, what's the other one? I think that's it. And like I said, I don't use shaving cream. I don't use shaving cream at all. It's either coconut oil or I use that soap over there. And that's really about it. Um, so, yeah. I think that that is everything, you guys. Um, this is just my personal hygiene routine. Um, this is how I keep myself smelling good throughout the day. How I keep myself smelling fresh. 25-8. Um... Yeah, I uh, like I said, as soon as I get out the shower, I like let me just run y'all through this again, okay? I get in the shower, I rinse, I wash with my soap, um, about two times. If I have a body wash, if I have a body wash, then I wash my body with the body wash about two times after I've washed with the soap. If I don't have a body wash, I will wash my body about three to four times with the soap. Um, and then I rinse off when I wash down there. I go ahead and rinse my towel off until it's clear. And then I wash down there, get that real good, you know, wash the back real good. Boom. Um, and then when I get out the shower, I dry myself off. I spray with any perfume that I'm going to use for that day. I go in with my deodorant. And then I go ahead and I put my lotion on top. And I go on about my day and I spray. I spray after I put on my clothes. That's literally it. Um, and like I said, whenever I go places, if I know I'm going um, to do any type of work, um, if I know I'm going to work, if I know I'm going to be going to class, I make sure that I put my body spray in my um, purse or my backpack. I make sure that I put it in either my purse or my backpack. And that way, when I get to my destination, if I feel like, okay, I need to run down, or if I'm in the car before I go into work and I'm like, okay, I need to run down, you know, I can get that body spray and, and you know, smell good, smell fresh. Because, um, you know, there's a myth that a lot of people are like, big girls don't smell good, they smell bad. No, baby, no. <laughs> don't put me in that category. Because... So make sure that she got to smell good. Okay? And I will drown myself in that body spray so I can smell good. Because you're not about to say. You're not about to say I don't. And it's just that. Um, so, yeah. That's really everything I like to use. Those are some of my um, go-to scents. Honestly. Um, you know, now that you're older, you kind of want to smell like grown women. So, um, those are some of my favorite scents that I like to use. Honestly, um, and honestly, that's it. Um, I do like to make sure if you do wear perfume, um, put it in certain areas. So like your wrist, behind your ear, um, your neck, the inside of your chest, um, uh, is it over your belly button. I think I put it over my belly button and in between my knees. That's if I'm using perfume, but if I ain't using a perfume, then I just... <laughs> And I love to make sure that the girls smell good because, you know, you, you sweat generally in, like, your chest if your boobs are bigger. You know, so you want to make sure that everything smells really good. That's why you want to wash, like, two and three times, okay? Because a lot of meat on your bones, you want to get everything, okay? Um, <clears throat> when you scrub, make sure that you're massaging it to your skin. Really working that scrub into your skin. Um... But other than that, I think that's it for this hygiene routine. Um, this is just what I use. You don't have to use what I use or do what I do. Um, but if you do, let me know how it works out for you. Um, like I said, this is just what I do. So, yeah. So, that is the end of this video, you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this video um, slash girl talk. I hope that you guys found some good scents that you would like to try or found some new tricks that you would like to try um so you guys i hope that you are subscribed to my channel have on post notifications that way you'll be notified every time i post a new freaking video we are doing vlogmas this year so y'all better subscribe 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 and go ahead and have on post notifications so you'll be notified as soon as vlogmas drops period okay 
Um, also, make sure that you like this video and comment under this video. Um, and yeah, guys, I'll see you in the next freaking video. Bye, guys.